हेलो गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन एम आई ऑडिबल शो यू थम्स अप विद अ बड़ी वाली स्माइल यस एंड आर यू रेडी विथ योर कॉफी पाउडर एंड ऑल टू मस्ट हैव हर्ड दिस ना यस एंड यस इनायत दिस इज लुकिंग ग्रेट यू ट्राइड दिस फॉर कंपटीशन ना यस वेरी वेल डन लवली आई कैन सी केशवी विद अ लवली मंडाला आई कैन सी सेलिना विद ओ माय गॉड इट्स एक्सट्रीमली आउटस्टैंडिंग वर्क This is Chandrayaan three and tricolor in background. No words, Adya. This is a beautiful pencil shading work. Anirudh, lovely efforts of yours. Acha, see uh, that eyeball of uh, Hanuman. Better you add little black also because many of you did it very light. Now it is looking white. So better eyeballs you make black. Okay, I can see uh, Gamit Shubham. It lovely floral art. Very good. So colorful. and uh, yes and uh, this is beautifully done siri this is great work my dear i don't know your name your name is siri or your screen name is siri oh it's a beautifully done work very good so you all are amazing and i just love the way you are trying your hands now nebodito it's beautiful and amazing work i just love it and arshini great work i just love its output very good okay and uh, anvita lovely roses i can see with free hand work lovely great work and you all are amazing i love lekha kashvi yes i can see this mandala i have seen my dear it's beautiful so this is great work and i can see lekha with her that independence day special drawing we are going to learn in class also but let's learn today coffee painting and in coffee painting we will try to add little friendship day touch also okay so are you ready are you ready yes <laughs> chalo so without delay now see you will be able to see a paper which is not very tidy i purposely use this paper because you know what i just hate to waste this kind of blank paper or my colors i i i just hate to do that so this kind of paper many times it happens that paper like doing oil pastel and that impression come or sometimes dust get pasted and it happen although we try to uh, try our level to be attentive very much but don't throw off this kind of paper i'm using this paper purposely this kind of paper is very good for your watercolor uh, landscape you know you can erase you can i can i can use any other drawing but on for landscapes i can definitely use it because you all know for making this paper what we are using any guesses trees we are wasting paper it means what that sacrifice of trees some there we are wasting right so we are not supposed to do that okay so please use your paper as much as you can okay so chalo without delay we will start our work Ah uh, yes, ah uh, any kind of coffee powder you can use. I'm going to use this Nescafe. Okay. Acha, we are going to pick up an artwork with Roli and Haldi. Do you know Roli? How many of you know Roli? In Pooja Ghar, that red powder, normally for making keeping tea ka, and I like at many places uh, some other name we are giving and Haldi. It means turmeric powder. We are going to use these two colors next. Ah, uh, in our next to next artwork. and uh, we will be learning one artwork with that these all are natural colors actually i really want you all to understand and i'm going to show you natural colorful soil also like khadiya geru and now ancient time like centuries back people were using these uh, these things only when colors is chemical colors were not available so chalo let's get started and i'm going to use this paper for making my landscape i'm very happy that i'm going to reuse this paper today and for this i will take my pencil and i will acha every day at 8 i am live with a story okay and stories are always helpful enhancing your creativity imagination and moreover your memory okay when you listen because this is just audio not video so if you find time please try to listen them because uh, each story like i collected uh, with lots of efforts and many are my self framed stories also So yes, you can use that sandy uh, blue. Also, you can use. Now, what you are going to uh, see? This is center. Decide the center of your page. Don't use scale for making this. And upper side, like this is the center. Now here you are going to make a line. Don't use scale for this. I'm going to make a line here. 
okay and see this is my center i went here and i will be making mountains okay so i will simply make this kind of flat mountains uh see this is my center this is the center of my page and it is almost two fingers two two and half and slightly up and down it's okay so i took the center and near this upper side i made this line okay try to connect your line with this please don't call on instagram because it disturbs the class okay now you are going to make one more mountain you are going to make it very flat you will not make it pointed and very tall okay this kind of some mountains you are going to make this last mountain i left because here i want to show a small piece of land on which there is a house and as some i will i uh, want to show you all elements actually and as you are learning coffee painting so if you want to make mountains how to show that if you want to make water how to show that and everything i want to teach uh, that's why i have to want to try i try to uh, cover up all the elements in this work acha okay i now i am what i'm going to do i will leave little distance this is my center huh? uh i will almost come till this is center here below center here i will come and make a line okay this is center i will come it is three fingers below i came and made a line and i simply made yeah we are going to color it today we have one hour classes now so you are going to make this kind of flat you can see here it is not touching this this line i will simply make this kind of land and you can see this is not coming till center this slightly here and uh, what i'm going to do on it i'm going to, i will be making like this line i have now i will use this line for making house this is a kacha house i want to show it as kacha house and i will show as if this portion i'm going to use it and i will simply make a door bus few lines i will not go for detailing and a kind of platform okay i will simply show this face and i will be showing some greenery first do this what i did i, I will repeat i took center almost two fingers upper side without scale i made a line i add two mountains if you if the space is left you can add the third one also but here the trees and the bushes will come so i left it okay i simply use the dividing lines and draw a v on the upper side and simply this one to show that the structure of house and from here when i from this house i'm going to make one more in front of house i will be making one more and this kind of slope and i will be making one more line and here one more line one more slope like this so see you can see these are layers of slopes i made and i can make one more here and a one stone back from back side so here what i did actually i decided my first uh, piece of land on which using this line i made uh, this i will erase this line this is overlapping and this is the way layer after layer we will show this kind of lines okay hold your pencil loose so that unwanted lines you can erase so whenever you want to make a coffee painting you first create a rough structure okay and on rough structure you just make the layout that how much space you want to i will not give detailing that everything i'm going to do with help of my colors and you all must be having a paint brush and cotton also ready today and we are going to use that all and uh, i will be making some 
kind of very light very light pencil you will be moving because here we are going to use flat paint brush for making these uh, leaves okay so simply uh, you just make this kind of canopy kind of a tree is there back side this we want to show and you're going to raise this is back side okay i will show this as back side you will erase all the lines coming in house show this canopy and make it keep it very light okay yes i'm repeating what i did i took center then to taking two fingers distance i made this line and made mountains then i came almost four fingers below four fingers below from this line i made this line and simply made a kind of mountain shape and using this is three uh, yeah this is four finger four to five finger distance here for this and over this i made this kind of kacha house i add some one for making completing its structure i raised all the lines which are coming in house and then i add this kind of canopy using c very light and i want to show one more very light you keep because here also we are going to use a brush technique and not one more this kind of bush we add here back side okay erase the lines if they are coming in right you can add a you can use any object for making it if you want okay and you will be simply taking a point here here in the corner like see here the gap which we have not this corner so i will leave the bigger part here smaller part here and i will simply make a diagonal line very light this line is this side it is five five fingers almost five and half fingers and this side it is only two fingers two and five and half and i simply made this kind of line this is actually the grass dense grass growing on a small piece of land this is that small piece of land okay and uh, here here uh, very close to this corner you are going to make one line make one line how much big it is four and one five finger five finger big and just a small this kind of island here too okay just add this kind of small this this kind of small small things small elements you will see will add great beauty to to your art okay and now your cute two trees will go in sky so one tree will go quite close like from here one will come from here we are going to show one tree quite incomplete hai na so you can simply show from the corner see have you done this can can i check this much first will you please zip up files everyone please yes show the work it's going perfect you can use this drawing as landscape if landscape in, in any, any competition or anywhere you find you can try this coloring technique coffee coloring coffee painting and when you when we use one single color for coloring it is called monochromatic artwork okay please repeat this term monochromatic okay i will uh, explain it mono it means single chrome it means color when you use one single color for coloring your artwork it is called monochromatic can you repeat the word after uh, again yes monochromatic if someone ask what kind of artwork is this you can say this is coffee painting monochromatic artwork okay now you're going to start your tree from here in the corner come on you will go here 
and a very soft curve and a very soft curve i'm going to give till here it's looking like s it's just going till end of the and i will leave little space lift means almost top i'm touching and i will simply continue it going extremely delicate to the top you will see it is looking like a swan's neck right it's beautiful curved which will make my work looking extremely beautiful and leave this much space so that you can make and erase all the lines coming in trunk of trees this is letter s actually okay if you have space if you don't want to show in the corner slightly here you can shift your trees slightly here too and one more tree which you will be showing going from here it is going round and then it's reaching your okay it's quite broad from here gradually it will cover up in a very thin delicate very delicate from top okay s letter s it's looking like right and they will almost touch the sky okay and uh, please keep your zero number or one number paint brush ready because today with that also we are going to give little touch up okay so yes now after this what you are going to do you will simply make coconut trees first finish this all of you finish this and yes i want to check after this acha see for drawing i'm going very slow and you know, but in coloring what you are supposed to do suppose uh, i i'm i complete both trees and you are able to do in in that time you are able to do only one so what you will do you will leave the second tree and you will do that after the class and you will switch on to next step with me okay this is the way to keep yourself in rhythm and with me and with class is this clear show me a thumbs up yes okay suppose these are two mountains i completed two by this time you are able to complete only one and so remaining you can do after the after the class so what will happens this will help you two ways slowly and gradually you will be speed up okay and uh, secondly uh, you will not hurry you just finish with my speed and what will happen it will help you maintaining the speed uh, neatness of the work okay so this is the way you are going to do and now how to make tree so for making tree first you are going to make two lines quite diagonal and what you do when you make this line diagonal these lines diagonal make one in the end one and this one you join straight now see one tree i will make and then other one i will go a little speedy connect one connect erase the lines otherwise you will get confused erase all the lines coming in it okay so this is looking like v right my next tree will uh, uh, it will be one line here one line here it's like one and now you can add one more here it will go this way and again one and from center a straight line will come and connect if it is going it will go diagonal one and from center one line will come and connect diagonal and like a kind of wheel we are making this is a coconut tree but in a very different way we are going to make it okay now here you can give a little curve connect here also you can give a curve connect upper side curve connect quite dense i want to keep it you can keep it less dense also like here i'm going to keep it little less if you feel that it is looking very much thick then you can reduce few uh leaves i will leave it like this and this next one i will keep little thin see this is 
I think this is looking perfect. <clears throat> but I will not erase it. I will let it be like that. And now we know how to make this. is the way you are going to complete this tree. It is looking like a, a wheel kind of some pattern, right? And see the curve. This should be, this flow should be free. And it will happen only when you will be holding your pencil loose. Always hold your pencil loose, okay? You will find a rhythm and perfection while making this kind of freestyle work. Okay? And if you feel that you want to show it as a sun, uh, moon night, then you can show it that way also. Any ways you can show. So this is done. And now I'm going to show. First, I will check how it's looking. Yes, please look up files. Beautiful. It's looking great and perfectly done. Well. This drawing can be used for landscape. Okay. And here, as I want to connect it with Friendship Day, I will show two friends, they are enjoying this Friendship Day, sitting on this boat. So here, I'm going to make a boat. Then here, what I'm going to do, I will make a flat line, flat line, straight, sleeping flat line. How much big it is? Four and five finger big. Five finger big, and I will simply give a curve. Diagonal curve this side. And here you're going to keep it small. See, here it is slightly high. Don't make your this boat very thick. Ah, yes, I've checked everyone's work, Sanvi, yours too. Perfect. It's perfectly done work. Okay. Done. Now, what I did, I made five finger big line. I went slightly diagonal here. It's a small line here. From here, you're going to keep it this way. And here also, you're going to come straight down. And you will not make it very much thick and all because it's a simple, ordinary boat. And just connect it with a straight line. Okay? You can show yourself and friend. Uh, these are two friends. Now here I want to show these are two friends who are quite mature, old age, or very young. Very young, it means young age, uh, two friends. And I want, you can show it like a, a friend can be. So do one thing, you just take one and half. This much big two diagonal lines. This is not one and half, one finger. Yes, one finger big, two lines. And you are going to connect it. Connect it and make hand like this. And I make hand like this. You will be making it little thick from here. And this circle to show holding Kind of this kind of thing you can show and simply show this kind of shape. O and just show one hat. One hat which you can make slightly a square kind of shape from top. And don't forget to add legs. Here you are going to write V. Okay, come on. This we are going to show them as shadow, and I can show one more here. And I will show one more friend of this kind. Show it sitting the same ways. You can show uh The same face in same ways if you want. Otherwise, you can simply ignore this hat here.
you can simply show sitting you know don't show it sitting like this and you are enjoying this if you feel that you want to show that is pointing out that lovely moon look at that lovely moon you know you can simply show that ways too so i simply add two figures one is pointing out that moon the boat is five finger big five finger okay five finger big boat and uh, you can use a uh, coffee of any company okay there is no foundation you will be using nescafe or any other you can use it of any company now this is the way we will complete our work okay if you want to connect it with sunrise then it will be you can add some birds also and i in that case also the reflection of sun you are going to show in water so see this is the way we completed our basic layout and i want to check it and then we will start our coloring so yes show me this it's lovely and beautiful and a lovely landscape today you know okay if you want to show a, a scene of moon night or a sunrise you know many times the morning time or a good morning uh, this kind of topic also we get so you can try this drawing also you can connect it with good morning like a morning scene so see this is the way i completed you all did it so well i love the way you completed and now we will start our coloring okay so as this is going to be a completely watercolor work and a bit of because coffee is what coffee is actually a natural watercolor so this is a watercolor work in watercolor work first we draw and then what is our second step we erase unwanted lines we just clean our drawing so here i will see that where are unwanted lines like this line is unwanted i will erase you know wherever you feel that double lines are there it is confusing you you can erase the lines and you can clean up your artwork so see this way is i clean my artwork and now it's ready to color okay so second step is you will clean your artwork third step is wash you will not give outlines you will give wash for this this is a plate and i will take little coffee powder while cutting your coffee pouch make sure the small piece you will not cut off you don't remove and you know, whenever you are cutting any kind of pouch make sure the small piece you will not cut off otherwise it can harm animals because this is a small piece of paper and you know, even aquatic life when you get keep it connected so what will happen this complete plastic will go for recycling okay so i will take uh, one small spoon uh, coffee powder is enough take this i already have in my previous plate of junior batch so i'm going to take very little so that i can use that too okay and this is the way i took little coffee powder yes this is the boat okay it is a very simple two lines i gave a small curve here big curve here and two kids are two are sitting here okay so this is the way you will be completing now i took it and now i want to add water now we will learn how to add water okay have you all ready are you all ready have you all taken now see the method of mixing color sorry water in water colors you will never pour water directly with container you will take your water container and with help of paint brush one one drop see one drop two drop three drops and very lightest tone of color you are going to take and you will give wash in this complete artwork so see i will mix and lots of water i took because the first tone will go very lightest in watercolor also we start with light to dark okay can you see this beautiful golden yellow ochre color it's a, and you know what coffee color uh, this color color is wash proof and after coloring you will see that a very different kind of shining is there on your artwork coffee artwork is very much trendy these days for 
wall decoration, table mats and all. So see, this is the way you will find this liquid. With help of paintbrush, whenever you want to add water in your color, it can be tube color or any other color, you will use the same technique. Okay, with help of paintbrush, one drop, two drop, this way you're going to mix color. Uh, say if, uh, if uh, uh, you will see the fine particles, like see this kind of particles, you just mix. So what will happen? It will get mixed. If this kind of tiny particles are there, so mix it. Mix it with paintbrush and it will get mixed. And now the very first step that is called wash. You know? Why we call it wash? You know, many times this question must be coming. That why mom is using this word wash? Uh, we, uh, today you will get your answer. Why I call it wash. I'm going to take small piece of cotton. Come on. Done with coffee? Yes. Small piece of cotton. Dip it in water. Come on, dip it in water. With me. Take it out. Squeeze. Squeeze nicely. And, I, as, and we will want very lightest tone. So we will leave, uh, means enough water. Means not enough. But it's, uh, it, it, it is quite watery because I want very light. And see, it will absorb the color. See? Now this coffee, this is having lots of uh, color in it. And I will go for feather touch. From here to here. Feather touch. Just. And you have enough color in your uh, coffee. Simply move your color from here to here. You keep moving and you will see gradually you will find the lightest tone. If you feel that color is looking very much transparent, then you can add little more color because it should not look like white paper. Little touch of coffee should be there. Okay, but feather touch, make sure feather touch. Okay, and see automatically dark on the top and light below you will find. Okay. Come on, do this. Do this. And you're not going to throw off this cotton. You will keep this cotton. Here you can enter till here. Okay. And the coffee, the tone of, uh, if you don't have earbud, you can use a paintbrush. Okay, I got a message from Sanvi. You can use a paintbrush if you don't have cotton. Sorry, earbud. Okay. So see, this is the way we will complete it. Okay, and feather touch it should be. You will not rub it like this. And you will see with cotton, automatically dark to light tone you will find. Okay, which will make your work extremely, this tone which will come naturally. So if you are appearing for exam and watercolor background you want to give, always use cotton. This is best for giving wash. Okay, so this is wash. Now you got why we call it wash. See, we simply wash it. So when you are doing watercolor, what is your first step? You will draw. Second step, you will clean unwanted lines. Third is you will give wash. Because wash is the lightest. In watercolor, you start with lightest tone. Okay? Is this clear? Show me a thumbs up. Yes. So here for this kind of monochromatic work, we will start with the lightest tone. Okay? Keep this thing in mind. Ah, and the uh, use of uh, cotton is always wise. I will suggest you to, um, because uh, cotton is having enough capacity of holding uh, color. And know what you happen, you don't have to take color again and again. Yes, now you will not uh, stop after this. Now see this cotton which you have. I know it is having almost, uh, it is almost uh, having no water and even the coffee is even used. So after doing this, when your color is quite, uh, you are going to take more coffee. If you feel that it is quite watery, you can squeeze a little more color. Squeeze a little more color and make it a little dry and take more coffee. More coffee, so it will become a little darker tone. It will become a darker tone. Now with darker tone, now see I will take coffee. And now what I'm going to do? Take coffee now. What will happen now? We ha You have dark coffee now. And this is not watery. I remove extra water also. And now where you are supposed to use this darker tone, you, this you understand. 
I will be using this darker tone here in water. Come on. Simply use this darker tone here. Sleeping line. We will go for sleeping line simply. Okay, I will take a little more darker tone. And okay, take enough darker tone. We can apply it again here. Simply make this kind of lines, and you will be making little darker tone here. You will simply swing so that it will look like it has been merged here. Some lines here. You will not cover up complete. Here you are going to keep light tone. Okay, so simply you will swing. You will simply move and then swing. I will take more coffee and I will simply make this kind of darker tone coming from this side and near this uh, bank and in the corner. Okay, so here, this is the way you're going to complete. I kept this portion light. Okay, so what I did, I simply add tones in this uh, color. Okay. And now earbud. We are going to use earbud for completing the work. Now see that our complete picture is quite light and we want to complete it. So I took a little more coffee. Your little powder came, so I simply merge it. Acha, now what we are going to do, first we are going to add little, little uh, color here and there. Okay, so first we will start with this. So here, again, this coffee paste, which we have now, is already coffee paste we have dark. Now we want one tone darker. Now see, those who feel that they can use paintbrush, you know, we want quite thick, quite thick. Those who feel they can use paintbrush, they will be doing this with paintbrush. Otherwise, you can do it with earbud also. So see, this is quite dark. You can see this quite dark and sticky. So I will mix it and I will start doing my mountains okay so i will simply cover up the mountain let it go in three okay this is my round synthetic hairbrush of number eight okay you can use flat or round or you can use earbud also so see i will simply you can see here i took one tone darker this is one tone darker right darker than backside I will simply fill my mountains this way. And after this, what you're going to do? See, one mountain you do. All of you do one mountain. And then I will show what you're supposed to do now. Okay. After this, what you're going to do? You will take a little more color, quite thick color. And you're going to cover only half mountain and make sure you will be moving your, you can come from here to here too, only half mountain you will be doing. So what will happen now, your half mountain is having two uh, layers of color. So definitely it will look darker, right? And this way you will find the tone of colors. Come on. If you want to uh, make a drawing of pyramid on all, you can try this technique for making Simply color this and you can see this tone is quite darker. One tone darker I used for making mountains. And I'm darker than my background. If my mountains will be of same color tone, then what will happen? It will get merged in background. So now we are going to work on darker tone. Gradually, we will keep coming to darker tone. And using the same technique, I will repeat this half. And I will make this portion a little darker. This can be done with earbud or paintbrush. Whatever you find yourself comfortable with. Okay, if you feel that you are not good at using paintbrush, simply use your earbud. And if you feel that you are not able to cope up with the speed, then make only one mountain 
and remaining one mountain you you are going to do after the class so don't do your work in a hurry it will spoil your work okay so so see this is the way i completed this and dark to light tone is really giving a 3d look to my mountain yes and see the now my paint brush is having no almost uh, no uh, coffee you know just make it remove extra coffee if, if it has come on do this mountains uh, all of you so this is the way you add darker and lighter tone if you feel that i want to add one more tone so what you will can do you can take one one more time coffee and you can make half of it so what will happen three layer of tones three layer of tones will be will appear here okay so this is the way you add darker and lighter tone in when you use one single color is this clear please show me a thumbs up if you are getting what i'm explaining ha huh? yes thumbs up if you are able to understand what i'm telling you yes now this paint brush it is almost having no color what i will be doing i will simply make see just lines you will wash this is quite dark you will wash it wash don't wash it completely we want lighter tone so just one two time you just move remove extra and simply add some lines here very light lines to show the layer of house okay you are going to show the layers so simply make some lines with very light tone and here also you can add like with grass and all the walls and everything is been made we want to show that ways actually okay i will make keep this portion and this portion very light in my drawing okay and now you can switch on to your this paint brush or flat if you are using flat brush i will show you with flat brush only so that you will not get confused if you don't have flat brush you can use round brush also see this is a flat brush i will take this thick this is my five number flat brush i will start making this portion come on how i will drag 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 take coffee drag and all the sides which i made drag place drag okay you can take a thicker a thick paint brush also and simply make overlap these lines and make it like a tree with this kind of leaves pick up color and give some stroke overlap each other so you it you will find a leafy tree kind of leafy texture you will find behind and when you will come close like here on when you will come close here on Uh, this so what you are going to do very little touch of black just a touch of black you will not dip your paint brush in this you will take you will take coffee and you will start making you will find one tone darker okay make sure you will be taking very little black and near uh, this uh, hut i will make my make sure it will should not go in hut i will make my leaves little darker little touch of black and this kind of strokes with paint brush i will be giving just add this kind of strokes okay and i made this kind of leafy uh i will just cover up the background and i'm going to keep it quite dark near i can i can make it little more prominent and dark near okay see you can do this with ea bud also i will make it quite dark near you can do this with paint brush but i will keep it quite dark near this okay and gradually you will merge it should not look like layer that is dark and medium it should merge with each other and this is the way with help of flat or round brush you are going to keep make a tree you can make some leaves coming out of it just to give little more creative and beautiful look you know you can show this is this is going to be the tree behind 
house. Okay, and uh, one more thing we are going to do. Finish this first. Now see, as we have this uh, available, I know this uh, flat brush is available here. We can even do this with flat brush, but I think making it with sketch pen will be better for you. Chalo, so we will make it with sketch pen. Now what you're going to do, you will wash your paint brush. Finish this. All of you finish this first. You can do one more thing as you have this black. And take an earbud, take black and simply mix it with brown. And start completing this trunk of tree. Come on. Make sure this, if your mountain is not dry, you know, if your mountain is not dry, you will not go, otherwise it will start spreading. So, I will wait till it get dry. By the time I will complete this. You can even use paint brush for this. Mine is completely dry. Okay. So with help of earbud or paint brush, you are going to complete this. Okay. So see, I, this is brown. It means coffee and black. So the color is like kind of deep brown color, right? And I'm going to complete this. Here also, if you feel that you're not able to complete both trees, simply work on one tree. Okay, you all will be working on one tree. Don't try to complete two. So what will happen? You will find it easy to manage. You will not. You will be not left behind. And after the class, it will be a revision. At the same time, your work will be very refined. Okay. Now again, here for making uh, these lines. I will take the cotton. Like this cotton I already have and black color also I have in my plate. Right. I will take cotton, uh, it's, it's not very watery and I will take little black and little brown, black is already there. I will use it and I will start giving textures, okay, for giving textures. What I will do, I will simply tap, 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 tap. And I will start giving a stone kind of look to, the, to these stones. Make sure you will not miss its shape. Okay, very carefully, Anna. you can take more. And I add little black and brown, which we are, which I already add. And this is the way I will add some kind of textured look for making these mountains. In the end, you can move it straight too. But this is the way I will be completing this kind of textured look in it. Very carefully, you will do it so that the shape you will not miss. Okay. You can take a little more coffee. If you want to make it a little more darker, you can take a little more coffee and you can complete it. We have one more small island here. We are going to complete that too. Here also, I will be using the same texture. Very carefully, this pointed shape I will maintain. Okay. If you want to make it a little more darker, like say if you feel you want to. Now see here also. Here also what is happening, this is light. Come on, do this. I want to make a little darker from bottom side. Okay. So what I will do, I will... Take little more black and I will make this portion little darker. This you will have to do when your color is wet. And if you will wait, keep waiting that it will get dry, then I will do. So it will look like a patchwork. No, so before it get dry, you will apply one more layer of black nicely here. Just in this portion. Okay. And even here in front of house. This is the way you will be adding one more layer. And here also, I will be making one line with black. I can take paint brush or earbud 
and I will be completing one line here till here. Okay, you can make it little round. It can be a bush, kind of bushy shape we want to give. So you can simply make it little irregular. And it's very far. And if you want to show its reflection, that like this river is quite still, like mirror of nature. Anna? So here, this bush, I'm going to make quite light. I will leave it. So make this, come on, make this. And then I will show what next you are supposed to do. And you will wash this earbud. Wash this earbud nicely. Now your earbud is without color, very little color. And you're going to merge. Come on, see like this. It will look like reflection of water. Wash your earbud, the same earbud which you use now. You just wash and show the reflection. It is little uh, smoky. It is little suggestive. This kind of. Okay. And the earbud which you wash, you know, you're going to use the same earbud for showing little darker tone here. Darker tone, sleeping lines. Okay. I will, I can use the same for this side also, just to show that kind of reflection, you know, you can simply show kind of reflection here, little darker tone, here too. Okay. You can simply make it little merge here. And now, to all these details, and I will, I want to make this bush, this bush quite light. All of you finished this much? And uh, hopefully it is, it will be very clear that how to show the reflection you know, or in water. Here, one more bush is there, which I want to keep very light in color. If you feel that I want to add kind of color in it, so definitely you can take some color also. See, I have this beautiful magenta color. And this is my dry, flat brush. Dry. No water. I will take the tip, little color on tip. On tip I will take. Okay. And I will simply start doing it this way. I will start from the here. Tap, 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 tap. If you feel that I want to add color, otherwise this can be done with coffee. Okay, if you feel that I don't want to use this colorful. And I'm going to make it a little darker here. I'm simply this dry paintbrush, standing position. My The position of my paintbrush is standing. And I will simply make it very dark where it is close to her. And outside, I will simply take the Light, light impressions of this kind. It can be orange, blue, or any color of your choice. Okay? You can try the same with coffee also. So here we are going to keep the next bush. This is quite dark and it is quite light. It is very light from this side because it is getting sunlight from here. And this is, this is what? This is a paintbrush. It is dry. I took little color and tap, tap, tap. Simply tap, tap technique. Okay? And this is the way we will complete. I will take my black cotton. The cotton which I have, I will take little black color. And I will be completing this complete portion. This portion. I will show you. This complete portion you will be completing. You can do this with paintbrush also, but with cotton in no time, you will be able to do it. Simply show this and now you're going to show it standing lines because this is kind of grass. So simply show it standing and irregular lines. First you fill colors and then standing lines because this is a grass densely growing on the river bank.
you will be taking one tone lighter color or the same and you will simply color complete this with texture this is land okay so here you can use texture with little black this is dark brown color for getting the darkest tone of coffee what we did we add little black so we found the darkest tone of coffee because if you will use coffee paste see this texture will give a rocky look to your artwork Okay, now is, now is the time to turn your file upside down. And by the time when your all artwork will get dry, we will quickly complete our trees. Okay, and for completing our trees, we will take help of, uh, you can take marker pen, brush pen, or any other thing. And I will simply love to use my bold marker pen. And I will start making, all of you have done this much, yes? Uh, all of you finish this, finish this. Okay, here, see here, I first move my color pattern, then I move standing. This is a standing line, okay? We are going to add more detailing afterwards. And I, so you will see that how to add, uh, uh, how to take care of all small, small things for a beautiful and lovely artwork, okay? I will be using this. All of you finish this. And then we are going to take our bold. You can take brush pen, marker pen, bold marker pen if you have, you can use that too. Otherwise, you can do it with paint brush also. You know? But there are many who are not having that much command. I will prefer with this. I will show with this. See, this is one now. You will be making this line dark and one, 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 very close. And you will cross the line of pencil. You will swing your lines and this is the way you are going to make your coconut tree. All leaves are falling down. Okay. <clears throat> I will be doing the same here. And if you feel that your coffee is not yet dry, <clears throat> you are finding it difficult to move your color. So you wait till it gets dry. Okay. And very close, one, 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 you will keep writing. Turn your uh, artwork upside down. <clears throat> because, <clears throat> because that side work is not uh, done, not dry. So you uh, start doing from here. Okay, those who are having good command over paint brush, like I will show it with pen, paint brush also. So those who don't have command over paint brush, they will be using this. And those who have command over paint brush, like I'm now showing with flat brush. So they will be doing it with flat brush. This is a flat brush of four or five number you can take. Absolutely dry paintbrush you will be taking and then take your black color. Don't add water, okay? Because with dry uh, color only the te technique. And see, I will take this and I will start moving it down. See here, one and this is, okay? Those are, you can do it with sketch. And this is the way I will complete my I will complete this, okay? So you can do this with flat brush also or don't use round brush. With round brush, you will not find the proper lines, okay? So with dry, uh, first I will make this and then I will start making it. Okay, so you can either use your uh, sketch pen or brush pen or you can do it with this, okay? It's looking like comb, right? So with paint brush, and see, those who are using sketch pen in class, after class, they will try to make this kind of tree with paint brush also. So that next time when we will be picking up some, if you feel that what, the brush is extremely dry and I'm not able to find stroke, you can take a touch of water on this, but don't take too much of water. Otherwise, this texture will not come. Okay, and this is the way you're going to complete your lovely coconut tree in no time you all try to make only one you know? and then second tree you can do after the class it will be a kind of revision for you okay so this is the way i completed my coconut tree 
I showed with both, you know, you can use uh, brush or sketch pen. I showed with both so that whatever you find comfortable, you can do with that. I will suggest you that if you feel that I'm not very good at using paint brush, you do practice after the class and then do. In class, better you switch on to uh, sketch pen. Okay. And see, this is the way I will complete my. texture when your paint brush will be quite dry now you will automatically find this kind of lines okay uh, if there will be lots of water you know if you feel that i'm not able to move my paint brush then only okay again i can feel that my paint brush is not moving properly i will take touch of water on tip of it i will not take too much of water and I will simply continue my strokes. I'm completing both the trees because I want to show you the complete output. But you please don't do that. Okay, you make only one tree and remaining you can do after the class. So this is the way I completed my coconut trees. Okay, and I'm going to make one line, only one outline. This outline can be done with black sketch pen also. I will simply give one dark outline. And if you feel that with paint brush, you will spoil it. So do it with sketch pen. Just one side, little darker tone. Okay, and in this tree also. Take little water because here your paint brush should move smoothly. And this is the way you are going to complete. Okay. And I will turn my file this way now. I will complete this shadow. Okay. This also I am going to complete with black. And it is going to be Z black. It means don't uh, uh, use brown. Or if you want to use little brown, a touch of coffee then very little of it and keeping the shape properly complete this boat and figures i will suggest all of you to switch on to black sketch pen because these are very important uh, thing of the artwork if it will be spoiled then it will lose its beauty okay so I will switch on to black and I will complete these few wonderful friends enjoying Friendship Day. And we try to connect it with Friendship Day. And we will simply color it black. Okay. We will color it black completely. Use black sketch pen for this. Okay, don't use your paint brush because the very soft and delicate shapes will get disturbed and it will spoil your work then. Okay, so better you use this. You can make a couple also. And if you want to convert it in an anniversary special card or something of this kind, you can show a couple sitting together. Right? And the basic layout is ready. Lots of work is still left. Complete your birds also. With black sketch pen only. And you can add some branches here. And so one more thing we are supposed to do with black is this complete door. I will leave one white line here. And I will complete this black this can be done with paint brush also but i kept my paint brush now so i'm going to do this with my marker pen only just color it black z black okay i will i will make one more line to show kind of pillar kind of look okay and here I will simply add one more pillar and I will complete this. I 
I will keep this. Okay, so this is the way. Okay, so this is just a basic layout. So many things are still left. But before this, uh, I think uh, during watercolors, it, you will not be, you will not find it easy to pick up your file. So I will not ask you to do that. Uh, okay, few students they are able to show it. Will it is giving me idea that you are getting it very well now. So many things are still left, and let's complete it. Wow, it's beautifully done. Many children they managed to pick up their files and show. Lovely, amazing. Now we will switch on to our oil pastel or plastic crayons. Better you take plastic crayons. Come on, take plastic crayons. Take your black color. Okay, take your black color. You can even take brown color. Why we are using brown color? Because brown is the color of our artwork. You know, and just to maintain that look of it, we will do this. I will take this brown color. Uh, first, I will take black and I will add the shadow. First, add the shadow. Add a shadow of it. And now you are going to add dark, this brown color. And you are going to add some lines here. Some lines here. You are going to make lines, like very delicate lines reaching to white. Make sure the lines will be very light. And little bit straight lines. It should not be like untidy lines. Take your black and add little black here in the corner. Like near this, na? near these all land part. This is plastic crayon I'm using, okay? Plastic crayon, just add this black here. Add shadow kind of black, come on. You can make, for making it one tone darker, you can add little black here. Plastic crayon you are using, okay? You also use plastic crayons. And you will be moving it with very less pressure. And when you will be moving it with very less pressure and sleeping lines. So what will happen? It will look like merged. Otherwise, a uh, kind of patch uh, it will look like as. I will simply use this portion dark. Even here in this corner. See my strokes, they are very smoky. Yes, we are going to do sun. We will be making the, it white. So see here. Sleeping lines. I will be making sleeping lines here, this corner. And then I'm going to take brown. And then here in this corner also. This corner also, you will be making it a little darker. You can see with plastic crayon black color, I'm able to do it very nicely and very suggestive it is looking. Right? You can add little here too. All the sides. I will be making darker. Now I will take brown color. Finish this, all of you. And do it in a very tidy way. Okay? Everywhere, everywhere here, you are going to do this. And now you are going to take your brown color and you will simply extend the lines coming out from black and going out. You can even merge little brown in black, but the lines will come out here. Even the these, you know, they are enjoying this boating here. You are going to add some lines here too. Some lines, okay? Add some lines here. Very delicate lines of brown. Brown will, what will happen? It will maintain its uh, monochromatic work. Look, you know, it's monochromatic look it will maintain. And here you are going to add little black in this house also. You will add little black here. This portion you will be making a little darker. In front also, you are going to add some this kind of little darker tone. I will be making this portion a little more darker. You can even scribble. Okay. And why we kept it? light here because of this reflection of moon okay so last but not the least white 
now here if see here as you want to show moon night right so you can even uh, show the reflection of moon night like moon on objects otherwise you can leave it like that so you can simply take your brush pen or your earbud and pure white color you are going to show for showing them showing this moon okay i will you can do it this with finger also take white color and with finger so i will simply take white and this white you are going to put here if you feel like to if you feel that i want to add little white reflection on objects so you can definitely add a white line on objects okay if you want to do that it's a, it's optional it's not compulsory so you can simply add okay it will look as a look of okay white you can add here white you can add here on boat kind of like the it's a moon night so you can simply add a white color here you can add little white here below kind of you can add little white here just to add little reflection of it so this way if you want to add this white touch up you can even add this white touch up not only on trees even on leaves and you are going to use your very thin paint brush for this okay you will be using your one or two number of, and you are not going to make it on every leaf no leaves which are facing sun on that you can make this white okay and give this kind of touch up and yes last but not the least you can simply add some black here some lines of black because we want to show dense grass growing here and on the top of this grass definitely you can add some reflection of very light and thin lines not too much very little okay because this is grass on tip of it it seems as if it's uh, that uh, magic of uh, moon night is happening here also you know that uh, silver has been sprinkled on the grass growing here so this way you can add little this is also and this is on the tip of this you can add little and this is all about our today's artwork okay with this kind of detailing little grass here with black plastic you are now doing this it will add kind of texture to your work you know like as a dense layer like kind of wall of grass you know which normally grow in uh, on a river bank so this kind of thing i want to add here and it will definitely enhance its beauty and these are simply some lines which i am making let it go little out of the lines which i made and you can simply sprinkle little silver on the tip of few grass as i did here okay and this is your complete artwork hopefully you all must have enjoyed today's class and this is your complete output okay so see this is a coffee painting i got a message from anirudh you used magenta color black also see black we used for giving the darker tone and in any tone in a monochromatic color for darker shade you add black lighter tone is white okay magenta we add little just to add a color you can do this with puffy also and this is your complete output okay please do share this artwork with in your hands with your badi wali smile and if you find time revise this artwork and i'm doing this work with one single color and that's too natural color and it is going to give you best understanding you can even use sap of spinach 
sap of uh, beetroot you can try for painting you will find lovely colors have you ever tried beetroot sap how many of you have tried painting with that no one you will find lovely color tone very good you all have done great work many of you are able to show this and i am very happy with this complete output great work so if you enjoyed today's class show me a thumbs up with you know thumbs up with badi wali smile <laughs> so uh, today we learned this and uh, try many more landscapes using the same technique using that this technique and uh, gradually you will see that you are having better understanding if you have time you can try the same landscape once again you will see next time uh, all things are better and uh, there is no mistake in the work complete work okay i will be making few lines like this and this is my complete art so with this i will wind up class may god bless you bye bye take care bye my dear children please do for share your work and your name so that i can take your name while sharing messages for you okay take care bye bye